everyone, it's me, Ghost Girl again, probably not in the best mood to do this video, it's so annoying when you need to do a complete retake of a video because a stupid mum couldn't control her kids and her kids were screaming and shouting and just running around, not even, the mum wasn't even making any effort to keep her kids away from me, so much for social distancing eh? And then they were just screaming and shouting and running away and this there was like a family of just kinda wood pigeon just sitting there and um, the kids scared them and the mum just didn't give a fuck and then she was like that. I like going to the woods. Well the woods doesn't like coming eat you coming here clearly with that display. It was so annoying because I was right in the middle of filming a video and I had to do a com I'm now having to do a complete and utter retake because of some stupid bitch. Yeah, so hopefully this bit will be a bit less quiet or a bit more quiet because I've had to go even deeper into the woods now. Um, so yeah, um, I apologise for the kind of any lighting issues that may like occur in here. Unfortunately we are in a woodland, a wood, so the lighting may be a bit off at times. Unfortunately I can't really control that, um, plus I don't really want to interfere with the natural woodland and the forest and the animals. I don't want to scare any animals or hurt any animals or anything like that, so I'm just kind of just working with what I've got here. Um, so yeah, also, I've got some good news. I'm kind of annoyed because I'm having to repeat myself. I mean, normally I'd just cut bits out of the video, but that was a total disaster. So anyway, the good news is I really am a witch after all because I found my magic wand. Um, so what happened was I was trying to find a place Sorry, I can hear people again, it's really distracting. I think there's like another path somewhere near here. Cause like, you sometimes like, hear people like occasionally, um, like in the background. So I think there's another path somewhere near here. Also, um, if you hear like any like, noises or stuff dropping to the floor. That is a squirrel. There is a squirrel somewhere that is dropping like acorns here, there and everything. So if you hear something dropping, that is the squirrel. Also this area has a lot more birds than the bit that I usually film in. So if you hear like noises, it's probably all the birds. Um, and you can definitely tell that this is the kind of less bit where people go to because I've been finding there's not as much litter and I've been finding bones and rabbit dung and everything. So yeah, there's that. But I kind of like it, though, in a weird way. So anyway, I will show you guys my magic wand. Here it is. It's a bit long, I know. But snapped off earlier, I actually like shat myself. <laughs> Like, no, you're joking me, I just got that wand and a bit snapped off. But yeah, I knew it was my wand. Like, I was trying to find a place to sit, and it was just kind of in my way. And then, like, I picked it up and to move it, and then I just got a feeling like, oh my god, I've found my magic wand. That, like, my, that thought just kind of came to me. And then... When I held it, it was like this kind of tingling feeling like in my arm. So maybe I have found my magic wand. Maybe I'm just mistaken or maybe I'm a wee bit nutty. But it was like sparks like going through my arm. So that's crazy. Um, also, what else was I going to tell you? Yeah, so as I promised you guys earlier, 
I have written like a story and I will be telling a story or stories depending on like how this like turns out like over like the next few weeks like so that'll be happening um, for the story competition you've got six weeks all together to submit if you want to submit one or more story I'm trying to talk quietly because people are coming um, then that is fine I've had people message me to say that they've kind of stuck on just one idea and they want to do more than one and I've said to them look if you want to do more than one then you can do more than one like I'm happy like the more stories they submit the merrier because then it'll be easier to pick a winning story if I've got like more story options so if you're stuck on a story and you want to do more than one then I'll I'll happily accept it as long as you don't copy any of my stories. If I feel like there's a hint of any of my stories being copied, then you will not your story will not be submitted and your entry will be terminated. Like you definitely will not be considered like into the competition. Like no because like how would you like it if someone was to copy your work you wouldn't like it. So why should I accept copy stories from you. So anyway, six weeks to go for the competition entry. I'm gonna get on with the story. Um, I've got my notepad here. Balancing a notepad and filming a video. This is gonna be interesting. But I'll try and read it and focus on the camera best I can. I must warn you though, I'm highly dyslexic, so my reading and writing skills are no the best. Um, it sounds like I'm mumbling, then I'm it's the dyslexia, I'm struggling. But I will do the best I can given the... So please try and be like a bit more like considerate with the way that I'm reading and writing stuff. I'm dyslexic and it's harder for me to read and write than it would with, like with someone that didn't have like a learning difficulty like dyslexia or something so please bear that in mind okay so I'm going to start the best I can a long time ago on a planet far away like I was in many ways but then in many ways completely different this planet lay in the Andromeda galaxy <laughs> The following tale is based on a young woman by the name of Esther, who lived in the land, lived on the land and grew herbs and plants of many kinds, which she used to make herbal remedies and help the sick. She would also grow fruit and veg that she would sell at the marketplace at her local village. Astoro. She st stayed in a small grey stoned cottage that had a brown roof. She also owned three goats, Trickle who was a white goat with black eyes, long legs and pink hoofs. He also had a very large curled horn that curled into the shape of three hooped swirls. Trickle was the most confident out of all of the three and whenever Esther would come to give them their daily feed he would often be the first one to get to her to get his supper and would often push past the other two to get it. This would often lead to Esther giving him a good telling off and telling him not to treat his siblings in such a way but Trickle being Trickle wouldn't listen and would do the exact same the next day. Trickle had a younger sister, Isla. 
she was smaller than him and had very long, a very long fluffy coat from the tip of her mouth to the to right down to the bottom of her grey hooves. Unlike her brother, she had short legs, but you could tell the two were siblings by the shape, by the similar face shapes that they had and a similar shape of neck. However, unlike her brother, she had black patches all over her white fur and had white eyes. She also only had two swallows for horns. Um, the youngest beat was being little Ma Malk. He was still a youngster and had not gotten his horns yet. He looked almost completely different to his siblings. Ow, my arm is getting sore. Apart from his white fur, Malk had Sorry, um, apart from his white fur, Mark was covered in big brown patches from head to hoof. He also had dusty yellow hooves and red eyes. Mark was always full of energy and would always want to play with his siblings and play they did all day and all night. Isla was Mark's favourite. Mark's favourite. I keep wanting to say Mark because it's just like a thing that's familiar but the name's actually Mark favourite of the two, mainly because she was always laid back and would always be very playful and not too rough with her little brother, unlike the older brother Trickle, who was always very aggressive and very rough with little Malk and little Malk wouldn't always appreciate that. And this would often lead to Malk being upset and crying. And then Ifthara would not be very happy about that. She would get very angry and always give trickle a wow. So that's part one of the story. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this video probably wasn't the best quality probably because I was trying to hold a notebook in one hand and a camera in the other. Um, I'm really needing a tripod but I don't really have the money for that. Well actually, it's, I, maybe I do, it depends on the price of the tripod but I wouldn't really know what to get one. I really need to get maybe order one of like Amazon or something but then how do I do that without like my mum figuring it out because my mum's like so nosy. Like every time I order the package to the door my mum comes she'll run to the package and she'll like rip it open and I'm like mum it's got my name on it you can't do that that is illegal no that she cares honestly my mum's like the most uncaring person ever so I'd need to order a tripod um, and, all, and obviously because of the pandemic and that it's no the best at the moment for like tripods and that like buying stuff online like I ordered my Jeffrey a Jeffrey Star palette and it took me like a month to get here and I ordered this like way before like the drama with him and Shane Dawson and Wits Lux and all the bitching and literally that drama came and then the palette arrived and I'm like oh dear do I post a picture of the palette on Twitter or do I not? 
I mean, Jeffrey's still got fans, like, fair enough, but then he's getting, it's, he's got lots of haters too, and this drama isn't really helping him. At the moment, he's kind of got more enemies than fans with the way that things are going. But then, I suppose, what goes around comes around. I mean, he did fall, well, uh, supposedly he falsely accused James Charles of a, being a word that I can't say on YouTube. But um, if you know the drama, then you know the tea. Um, but I've had a few friends, like a few people that have watched my Word on the Street videos and they're saying that I should do drama videos. I might do that, I might think about that, um, that is a idea that I'm adding to the list that I've got of all the plans for my videos. I've got a notebook at home, it's no, it's not this one, um, it's a newer one, a bigger one, and it's got like all my ideas and stuff and plans that I've got from this channel written down. I'll add that to the list. Like, I've not got like set dates or whatever, I've just got like a list of ideas and then I'll look at it and be like, oh, so am I wanting to do this series now or this series now? So I'll add that to the plans and I'll think about it. Because um, if people have said that they want to see me do <laughs> drama videos and I was like, well, I'll think about it, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so if... So remember guys, if you want to submit your stories, um, comment down below or you can message me on Twitter or tweet me and um, I'll respond with more instructions. Um, I've got quite a few good ideas so far about like pe people um, have messaged me like what they're thinking about writing about and I'm, I've had quite a like, lot of good ideas so I'm quite happy about that it's not going to be easy to pick a winner I'm just saying from what I've seen so far it's not going to be easy picking a winner um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like this video subscribe comment down below and also click on that notification bell so that you'll be notified when my next videos come out um, I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it was a bit hickle pickle um, I'm might, probably going to need to cut out a lot of um, this later although from what I've seen so far it looks alright so I might just leave it um, I don't know, do you guys prefer well edited videos or do you guys prefer it like raw I mean this is just me reading a story so I don't really see the need to like proper like edit this one too much I might add music in the background and put like the whole six weeks thing on but um, I don't really see the point in like super editing this video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please subscribe and goodbye.